Paris, where protests against the government-imposed fuel hikes hitting French cities throughout the week have now swept across the capital. There have been clashes with police, too, with tear gas and water cannon used against demonstrators who've been wearing yellow safety vests. The rallies have left the streets of Paris on fire. <laughs> 35 protesters have reportedly been detained in Paris on Saturday. According to the Interior Ministry, 81,000 demonstrators came out onto the streets across the country. Two people were killed and more than 600 injured last weekend when the rallies over fuel tax increases began. Marty Charlotte Dubinsky in Paris has been covering this story from the start. Here on the Champs Elysees, as you can see, there's a rally gathering behind me, and there is a row of police vehicles there. Those police vehicles trying to stop the protesters from going further down the Champs Elysees. to the entrance of uh, the Elysee Palace. As you can see, tear gas has been fired by the police. That's as the protesters were trying to enter into that street to get closer to the Elysee Palace. keeps being shot at the protesters. They keep responding by uh, throwing projectiles towards the security forces. The security forces have also now uh, started using two water cannons. As you can see, the water cannons are trying to push down this barrier that's been made by the protesters. They are throwing massive rocks towards the police, uh, essentially picking up what looks like to be the stones from the road and throwing it towards them. I'm having a bit of difficulty opening my eyes right now, and that's because we've just been in the midst of all of this tear gas. As you can see, it makes your eyes red. It's really hard to open them. And at the moment, they are just burning uncontrollably. <laughs> The police are coming, we're having to move now because we're all being pushed up the streets into the tear gas and into the protesters. It really is absolutely crazy here on the streets of Paris. The protesters throwing projectiles, literally taking up some of the uh, stones from the ground, throwing them at the police. They've also been throwing trees, cabinets, literally anything that they can get their hands on. Uh, look at this here, they've overturned some sort of truck as a barricade, clawing at our throats. This is eight days of protest now, and it looks like these protesters are not giving up here. Complete chaos here on the streets of Paris as the Gilets jaunes take over the Champs-Élysées. Revolution! Macron, c'est pas ta France à toi! You can see some of the protesters have now barricaded themselves in this part of the Champs-Élysées. There's tear gas that looks like it's been fired up towards the protesters. They're trying to make as much noise as possible, uh, possibly to make themselves heard in the Elysee Palace, which is about 150 metres away from where we are. This is a road just off the Arc de Triomphe, and as you can see here, we've got some of the scooters. They've uh, become infamous in Paris of late. Uh, they're burning here. This is one of the barricades that have been put in place. We're actually being uh, shouted at by a protester right now, telling us to not show people's faces, and that's because there has been suggestion that this movement has been hijacked uh, by radicalised individuals from the left and from the right, and there were warnings ahead of this protest in Paris that it was going to get hot, and it seems that those warnings are 
are absolutely right. It was meant to start as fuel protests and protests against the cost of living and living standards here in France, but it just seems that people now are purely angry at the situation and the fact that their president has still refused to meet them to discuss the problems in this country. Things feeling a lot calmer here than they have throughout the last few hours in Paris. The suggestion is that 8,000 people are protesting in Paris today as part of this uh, yellow vest movement. Well, here on the Champs-Élysées, we're still hearing what sounds like to be either sound grenades or tear gas being released. We know and you can see the flashing lights of the police. The police and the security services are surrounding all of the areas, of course, trying to keep some sort of control on this protest.